First, let's take a look at the like and dislike bar. I'm sure you already have. If you're here before everyone else, your ego is rising. You feel very powerful. You are. If you go green, you could be sending me the way of great success. And if you go red, you could be marking the X on the ground of my grave. If you're here and there are already lots of like, you'll probably agree. Even if you weren't on this opinion before, because this is what is cool. Don't you want to be cool? Join in on this shit talk because we all love to express our moral superiority. If there are a lot of dislikes, chances are I'm a phony and this is pure fresh bullshit from an idiot. And there's one hell of a good reason to dislike my opinion too. Remember, it's not about the content or quality of the video, it's about your emotional response to it. Good job. I just woke up this morning and I want to tell you about how season 8 was the best. But I'm not, I'm not even able to tell you that season was the best. I can't even tell you how good season 8 was, but that's all I want to do right now. Season 8 was the best. You don't understand, it was the best. Season eight. Season eight. All the torrents of Dark Knight films I have running is slowing down my computer, making it take longer to log into PayPal to subscribe to Twitch. Man, all these Dark Knight films I'm torrenting is really slowing down my computer, making it a lot harder for me to log into my PayPal so I can put in this hot donation to my favorite Twitch streamer. What do you think are the factors that contribute to the ideal environment? I think it's fascinating how there's kind of an in-group and that's probably 0.1% of the comp TF2 population that everyone knows who they are and everyone else is just a consumer of their content whether their content's drama or how many frags they got or what they said on their YouTube video and live stream Chances are, if you're hearing this, you're not an in-group member. You're just a consumer. You're on the bottom of this TF2 food chain. Bow down, baby. What? What do you mean? Just think about it. Think about all the great new TF2 personalities that have arisen that aren't in the 0.1% in the last two years. Isn't that interesting? The best way to become a, a TF2 um, elite is to know somebody who's in the TF2 elite. It's much like invite, but it's not about your skill. Uh, it's about how cool you are, because you got to be funny in like a cool way, you know? Because it can't be, um, can't, people can't think you're too ironic. But then again, you can't be genuine either unless it's, like, cool for them to acknowledge you're genuine. Like, you know what? I'm pretty open about this kind of stuff, so I'm going to let this guy in. Chances are, if you're a 0.1 percenter, you're a cool guy. You're a real cool Twitch streamer. People watch you for hours and hours and hours. People watch you all day. But do they watch do you? No. In fact, do they even care what you're saying in Twitch chat? Do they even read your message? Do they read your Twitch chat message? Do they go unseen? This is an open letter to the following TF2 YouTubers. YouTube.com slash star. YouTube.com slash German. YouTube.com slash Uncle Dane. YouTube.com slash funky. YouTube.com slash Um, 
and unrelated at youtube.com slash kevjumba. I'm making this video as a memo, an invitation to you guys, a request to make a collab video. Don't worry guys, it's all about artistic expression, and you know what? Above all else, you don't need to tell your fans about it. You can just put it only on my channel, and keep it on the down low. You know, I'm sure it's nice to have the support of Reddit, but at the end of the day, wouldn't you rather just be uploading for a loyal, active, small viewer base rather than having just a bunch of people who can't even spell your name right? And it's okay, you wouldn't have to tell them about it. So I hope you guys look through my, uh, my videography a bit on my YouTube site. But just to get your interest really going, I'm gonna get you a one by one breakdown of why you should, uh, Make this video with me. And just remember, you don't, you don't have to tell your fans about it. You don't have to tell your fans. So, Star, I've seen your videos. You got really good humor, really good jokes. Um, and you're, you're an East Coaster, you know, getting snowed in. You got that for you all the time, real fun. Um, you're married and you seem to hate your job. Um, Complain a lot that people want you to make TF2 videos. Ah, uh, people want me to make videos. People want me. They to want me to do something creative and easy. I don't want to do anything that people want me to do. Anything that people want me to do. Man, star, 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 wow, 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 wow. I get paid to do this. And I have the best equipment in the world. Do you know how many videos I make? 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 Do you know how many videos I make every week? Do you know how many videos I make? Do you know how many videos I make? $4,000 computer. Do you know how many videos I make? It's my job. I have endless support. I have endless support. Do you know how many videos I make? Um, but our video would be good. It would, um, we can do one of your cool ideas. Um, like, you know, the basically things. Or, um, or, yeah, we'd bring back, uh, like an old thing of yours. It'd be good. We could just talk it out and work together, you know? I like video editing. I feel like we both pull out of editing. You like editing, don't you? Just, um, you like editing? Ah. Ah, she like editing. Germa, we'd have a great time. Germa, do you hear me, Germa? I think we'd have a great time. Okay, so our video would be very good, Jerma. You seem to be into the sillier alt stuff. Just good. You keep it into you know. Um, there's a lot of great uh, stuff like that that I'm into. You know. I was thinking we would go to a um, a uh, a real um. I don't know all the good card games, but it'd probably be Magic the Gathering or or Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon, you know, because that's the even though that's the passable cool one right now, it's it's still in there. Um, and we'd um we'd bring cameras with us. Um, we'd each have a GoPro strapped to our belly, and then you and I would play cards at, at like a real tournament, and we would just um. We would have these personas and we would try to drive everyone crazy and win through pure charisma alone. 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 And we could have a gag that like someone stole your cards. So, whatever you... Whenever you seem to be doing bad, or clear, it becomes clear to the uh, opponent that you have no idea what you're doing, you just freak out, and you're, fuck! And, uh, 
Someone stole my card. That's your thing. That'd be funny. Okay. 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 Looks like it's uh, uh, youtube.com slash Uncle Dane. Oh, Uncle Dane, you know what? Um, in all reality, I think you're um, probably the, the least worst out of these current populist people. Because um, I feel like you actually um, have some decency of not mean shit. And I understand all your viewers are um, really incompetent young people who are watching. And, that has TFT and screen um, are still just developing the first stage of sense of humor and kind of understanding what sarcasm is. And, um, but I think, you know, we, may, we can make a good one. It's a really great angry video with you. I'm um, just shitting on. So it's going to be shitting on really low key weapons. I think we're saying this crossbow is really fair and balanced. It's the matter and it's cool. What do you mean? It's not okay if it's cool, dude. You know I can hear you if I shoot you with railgun accuracy? You ever. Do you even play Quake, dude? You play Quake? Next is my letter to youtube.com slash funky for a collab video. 
Flunky, honestly, you seem to have the hottest jokes. Um, I think you have a really great sense of humor. I think you have a really great sense of humor. Um, I just wanted to, yeah, we could make a really funny video. <laughs> Wait, no, it'd be funny, I, I swear. <laughs> it'd be a good one. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be really, it'd be really funny. It'd be really funny. It'd be a good video. It's a funny, funny video. Um, yeah. We can do like a funny video where we use, you know, like some cool game banana skins that make our items look goofy. And then, um, and then we could just say a bunch of things that people already know about the classes and probably the habits you'll have if you'll play them and then we'll just make it, it will be really funny because it's something everyone already knows and it's like, oh, ha ha, I know that. Ha ha, I get it. I'm in the in-group. I get these jokes. I'm a TFU player. I get it. I get it. I promise. That's why I'm laughing. Ha ha. <sighs> Next, youtube.com slash meme I think we can make some really good, um, hybrid uh, America Australian content. Um, I think we do some real good ones. Um, you seem like a real fun guy. And yeah, you know, I can't, I can't tell if you are uh, just really um, unoccupied in your brain and you're just satisfied with this, or if maybe you're, I mean, it kind of doesn't make a difference, but maybe you're starting to understand the content you make is like completely hollow, um, but you see it, it's gotten you money. You're like the opposite of Star, who like actually has a brain and is taking advantage of the tremendous power he has that literally no one gets to have and you actually abuse it which is good abuse it make money thank you or you're just you know lighthearted and don't realize it but that's good too i guess i don't know we can make a really fun video making fun of um ma and au players and it'd be funny because like at first it would be a cool video it'd be a funny video you know um but then as things get going, we get more and more dark. Like we're actually um, talking about how terrible every player is from NA. And every player from AU, how terrible they are. You can help me out with that. I don't know a lot about the AU players, but I can tell you all about the exciting North American team focus community. Ooh! What do you think? If you're watching this, what do you think? Ooh, what's this guy saying? This is a company that we're talking about whose internet claim to fame is teasing and releasing a video game they're barely working on for 10 years. Of course, Valve isn't working on Half-Life 3 actively, just like they rarely allocate resources to TF2. They are business and make their active. Ugh. They are business and make their active income from Dota and CSGO. In fact, the prospect of matchmaking has been hinted at Valve for two years, and just now we only receive promise of beta passes. 
The prospect of matchmaking has been hinted at Valve for two years. And just now, we've only received promise of beta passes, testing the ability to queue correctly, not even having a close to final... Fuck. Fuck. In fact, the prospect of matchmaking has been hinted at by Valve for two years. And just now, we've only received promise of beta passes, testing the ability to queue correctly, not even having a close to refined product. Not even having a close to refined product. And you believe any stream up video convinced the company to take action on their background game in less than 10 days? Let's remember, Valve took 8 million years to fix that video bug. 8 million, every bug they fixed, they didn't even know it was a bug. When the bug was initially released, it was so bad for so long. It was so overpowered. Why was Vanny's video so influential on them, huh? Why do you think it was? Go to the homepage. Is youtube.com slash Vanny my homepage? Is youtube.com? It's funny because his username's not even Vanny. It's like, I don't know. Let us understand by way of previous updates, Valve makes changes based on equip rates. Everyone uses the degreaser beforehand. So brand new players are the only ones using the back burner and the flag was only used jokingly. So it makes sense. Let's give the skeptic the benefit of the doubt and say his pyro video was responsible for the change on the highly fast-paced and impressionable Valve. So, what were you expecting? None of r slash TF2's praise YouTube heroes have released videos talking about how they want game mechanics changed. No one else is lobbying for change. He is the one voice in a room of silence. Furthermore, let's pretend Danny is responsible. What is wrong with him being the torchbearer for TF2? He's played for 10,000 hours, has played for 10,000 hours, has played competitive modes, both sixes and nines, to a masterful extent. Yet, players with less than 10% of his experience are insisting he doesn't understand the game. If anyone were to be influential in a lot of decisions, wouldn't we want someone with more experience than ourselves? Someone who can make the hard choices we are too young and naive to understand the importance of? If someone has worked in a business industry for 10 years, don't we expect them to have a more thorough understanding of the industry than someone who has been in the industry for less than a year? From another angle, this is literally Danny's life. Who else has participated in 8 fucking million seasons of ESA, 5 fucking million seasons of UGC, and been an active community member for 400 years? He has literally has led literally the most successful team in TF2 history. And then anyone else? Remember, Bang and Two X's opinion. What makes his opinion any less formulated than anyone else's? Remember, Bang and Two, Bang and Two, what's the fact from the game? He's been formulating his understanding of the game for years. He hasn't changed at all. He hasn't changed at all. Is the problem that Danny is too powerful and influential in Valve, or is it that you disagree with his opinion and think you should have equal say despite having infinitely less experience and wisdom in the game? If his word is too influential, why don't you say something? Before. We are in a beautiful internet age where the have nots and people aren't willing to do anything but consume, are capable of persecuting and demonizing the haves, those who are responsible for creating, giving them something to consume. If you think Benny is somehow to blame, you're saying one of two things. A. His opinions are invalid because they don't represent the sentiments of less skilled players. In this case, you are partially right because Bandy has grown since his inevitable youthful TF2 days. He doesn't care about strange weapons and he doesn't play for the cosmetics. He has no ulterior motives like the inexperienced player who will complain extra loud when their fear of class is weakened because he is versatile in all the classes and has no bias. Simultaneously encouraging that the stupid should remain stupid and the weak should remain weak, to put it bluntly, because you think we should let game balancing occur only within the approved limitations of the inexperienced player base, who have no sense of perception for the game as a singular fluid experience and will selfishly favor balance changes that help improve their experience of the game and anyone else with a mutual agenda that falls in line with their goals of self interest. And as a result of thinking this way, you prevent any of the inexperienced players to open their mind to different perspectives that will help them grow their understanding of the game if you continue satisfying them without resistance. Go ahead, give the pre-adolescent children candy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let their teeth run out. Don't make them go to school either. Video games all the time, every day. They'll surely thank you when they are older for how much you've helped them become a toothless underdog. Bang's a puppet for the man, a simpleton for Valve HQ. Let's face it. Bang's a puppet for the man, a snooper for Valve HQ. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. What's going on back here? Snooper. Tells us. Bang's a... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see.
This is a new interactive experience. Unlike any other YouTube content you've seen in your lifetime. Traditionally, the video ends at a certain point. But now, now when does it end? Does it ever really end? It's um, a new kind of content. You have to, it ends when you decide. And you can keep going. It's up to you. You're the one who has to make the decision. This could stop at any time. It's up to you. You're gonna have to use your mouse and click the, click the X button. So it's up to you. This video, so unlike other media, you probably don't know what's going on right now. Because this is a different delivery of content. A video that ends when you decide. This is a new interactive experience. Unlike any other YouTube content you've seen in your lifetime. Traditionally, the video ends <laughs> at a certain point. But now, now when does it end? Does it ever really end? It's um, a new kind of content. It, it, you have to, it ends when you decide. Is it gonna keep going? It's up to you. You're the one who has to make the decision. <laughs> this could stop at any time. It's up to you. You're gonna have to use your mouse and click the, click the X button. So <laughs> it's up to you. This video is unlike other media. You probably don't know what's going on right now. Because this is a different delivery of content. A video that ends when you decide.